Todd, welcome to Negocios in the Mundo. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. What are the main ideas in your book, Get Better? My book, Get Better, is all about the fact that we spend most of our time finding fault with others, deciding what Juan Carlos needs to do differently or what Maria needs to do differently or where they need to change. And the most effective people, the most influential leaders and others in the world, they start with themselves. They look in the mirror and they say, what do I need to do differently? Yeah. While we all need to improve, we all need to get better, I'm most effective when I start with myself and I model what I need to do differently. So for the past 30 years now, I have coached and observed leaders and others throughout all levels of, of the organizations that I've worked for. And I've seen those specific behaviors that time and time again are the real catalysts for helping people become more influential in their relationships. So that's what the premise of the book is about. Is the chain the key for innovation? It is. It is. We're, we're, you know, most organizations and businesses are focused on growing, and we spend all our time figuring out how to grow, and that's important. But the most important thing we can do is focus on the culture of our organization. And the culture is not just the people that you have, but it's the nature of the relationships between those people. So if we can focus on strengthening those relationships, then we impact innovation, we impact growth, we impact everything that we're trying to, to do in our organization. Start with the relationships. What is the leadership today? Well, I think the leadership, uh, there are some great leaders out there. I think sometimes when we get into a leadership position, we become too disconnected from the real work that's going on. We're focused on strategy, we're focused on the vision, and those things are important, but not if we lose sight of what's really going on on the front lines. So the greatest leaders that I know and that I've worked for, they stay very involved at where the real work is happening on the front lines. They, they, they are not above it. They realize that they also have areas where they need to improve and get better. And we can do that if we're working side by side with the very people that we're leading. What are, what are companies looking for in people? It's a great question. <laughs> yes. I talk about in one of the practices, practice number three is called behavior way to credibility. Companies are looking for very credible people. And to be credible, it takes two things, character and competence. Okay, I have to be very competent in my field. I have to know based on whatever job I'm, I'm if I'm going to be a plumber, I need to know how to be a plumber. But I also have to have character, honesty, integrity, doing the right thing, being trustworthy. Companies are looking for people who have both competency and character. I think companies, I know companies are looking for people who are flexible, who are adaptable. We get so stuck in our ways and things are changing every day, every year. And if we have people who are not adaptable, who can't change, they really hold us back. So at our company, we look for people who have the skills and who have the character and who are also very adaptable and flexible. Okay. This TV program is for entrepreneurs, for entrepreneurs around the world. What will you say to them? I would say to entrepreneurs, don't forget that, um, don't forget that the, the real foundation, the thing that you're looking for are people who care about your product or about your business, people who are passionate about what you do. Look for that first. Sometimes we look for someone with a whole bunch of degrees or a whole bunch of skills, and those things are important. But the first thing you want as an entrepreneur in your company are people who are as passionate as you are about the very thing that you're promoting. So look for that passion. What are the uh, main points in your, in, in your conference today in Huawei? The main points are we are all in a process of getting better. The last practice in my book uh, of the 15 practices is called Start with Humility. And I think as we become more and more successful in life, some of us, we lose that humility. Humility is a strength, it's not a weakness. So I think the point is to remember that we're all human beings, relationships matter, and whether I'm the CEO or whether I'm the receptionist at the front desk, the way we interact and treat each other makes all the difference in an organization of a very small organization or a very large organization. Relationships matter. They are the foundation to a successful organization 
and they're a, 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 a key ingredient to a successful life. Okay, thank you, Todd. Okay, thank you.